And I promise you, he came right up to me and he hugged me so tight. Like this, like. And it was more than about the song. Mm -hmm. It was more than about you are not alone. It wasn't about you are not alone when he hugged me. He hugged me with such a humility and a, a mutual respect for a gift, for the gift. That's what the hug was about. It wasn't about you are not alone. I love you. You Are Not Alone is a pop and R&B ballad about love and isolation. The song was written by R. Kelly and produced by Kelly and Jackson. Kelly wrote the song after losing close people in his life and was delighted to be able to work with his idol. On the tape sent to Jackson, Kelly sung You Are Not Alone mimicking Jackson's vocal style, explaining, I think I am him. I become him. I want him to feel that as well. Jackson found the interpretation amusing. They spent the last week of November 1994 together in the studio working on the track. Jackson explained that he instantly liked the song. Although the song was written by Kelly, Jackson was adamant that the production should be a collaborative effort among the two musicians. The tape sent to him had no harmony or modulations, so Jackson added a choir in the final portion and added a sense of climax and structure to the final piece. R. Kelly shares his memories of meeting Michael on Tava Smiley. And there's another part of the book um, that I felt the same way. The way you describe what it felt like when Michael Jackson walked into the chocolate factory mm -hmm. to do You Are Not Alone. What did that moment mean to you when he is coming to you to record a song? Yeah. Michael Jackson, he did something to you when he came in here. Yeah, he did something to us all. I yeah. mean, you know, but to meet him in person is, um, it's definitely for someone like me who followed him all my life and then I happened to be musical. I used to think Michael Jackson was a cartoon. I used to think that he didn't even really exist. He didn't, you know, he didn't eat. He didn't, you know, he's just a cartoon. And that's what I thought up until the day I actually laid eyes on him personally, person to person, man to man, right there. He gets up, I'm in the studio, I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, Rob, stay calm, I'm doing my, my whole producer swag. He comes in, my chair stops, okay. He comes in with the whole mask, he looks around, he looks around the place. And I promise you, he came right up to me and he hugged me so tight, like this, like, and it was more than about the song. Mm -hmm. It was more than about you were not alone. It wasn't about you were not alone when he hugged me. He hugged me with such a humility and a, a mutual respect for a gift, for the gift. That's what the hug was about. It wasn't about you were not alone. And I knew that. Why? Because I been blessed with a gift as well. And when your gift, you're blessed with a gift and it, and it goes to so much, so it goes to, I don't, I'm not trying, I don't want to say this to sound like I am Michael, but when you have a gift and someone else has a gift and it's rare, mm -hmm. and those two entities, those two powers meet in one room, there is going to be some kind of spiritual, mutual, uh, powerful respect. Absolutely. And when he hugged me and embraced me, it was for like four to five seconds. And for Michael and me to hug, two men then hug for five seconds, that's a long time. So that lets, and it was a, a real mama hug. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a fame or an artist or a celebrity hug. It was a mama hug, well, not a father hug. Mm -hmm. It was a mama hug. I knew this was going to make history. I knew this was going to be great. I knew the humility, he brought the humility with him. He didn't bring Michael Jackson in the room. You know, he brought innocence, he brought, the humility and it was powerful, man. And then I had to go in the bathroom. I fell out. I had to pull myself together because I got things that I got to get together on, in myself because I just met Michael. Mm -hmm. That's the celebrity part. Right. That's the Michael Jackson I never met, thought was a cartoon part. You know, so once I got myself together, I came out, got in the studio with him. We you know, offered him some Chinese food, you know, and it was amazing because people across the street in the other hotels hanging all out the window. And I'm like, who told them Michael Jackson would be here? You know, but Michael Cole with it, boy. He probably, 
he, he probably sent some people ahead. I want everyone to know, everyone to know that I am going to be there. I mean, everybody was hanging out the hotel room. It was a ridiculous man. You say in the book, uh, I want to move on because you're mm -hmm. going to yeah. the artist. Uh, you say in the book right quick though, that the thing that meant the most to you that day, beyond the hug, is when Michael said to you, uh, in answer to your question, what he thought of the song, did he want to change anything? He said to you, you got me perfectly. Yeah. I don't need to change anything about the song. Yeah, he's like, it's so funny. You sound just like me. I don't need to change anything. I, I'm going to do it just like this. Just like this. I was like, wow. I was like, okay. Because I did. I put a lot of time into, I had uh, all of his music, posters, everything up. I had Moonwalker playing on the video screen and I would just go for the song. As I look at Mike, I would sing what I thought he would sing. You know, I was just mimicking what I thought he would say on the lyrics and everything. And then when he asked me, is there any way that you can come in here and, and sing the backgrounds with me? I was like, uh, sure, uh, yeah, of course, why, yeah, I'll be in there in a minute, you know. <laughs> and I got, I walked out and I got between the wall that he couldn't see yeah. and I was like, I thought I was going to go in there just like a little girl, man, and just mess it up. But we're standing there, and he, you are not alone. I am here with you. And all I got to do, really, I'm telling myself, sing what you sang on the demo, you idiot. And you can't go wrong because you're sounding like Michael on it anyway. So I'm doing that. I'm, I'm, he's here, right here, at the same mic. We both got on headphones, and I'm going... You are not alone. I hear look over me. I be like, I am here with you. Do you far away? I am here to stay. You are not alone. And you know, you got that little shake in his voice. Oh, yeah. Man, I was, oh, I was just blown away. I'm standing here singing with Michael Jackson right here. I'm right here. I started to grab his hand, but I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I didn't want to do that. You know, <laughs> I said, well, this ain't we out of world. This is, yeah. you know, you are not alone. Don't do it. So I started to grab his hand and just, just, just for good measure, you know, but I ain't do that. But it was yeah. a great time working with Michael. Something whispers in my ear and says, you are not alone. I am here with you. Because I just can't.